everyone. In this video, we are going to go through an example of how to calculate the amount of time that it would take for us to get to another place in our solar system. So what you're going to need for this lecture is you're going to need your notebook with your notes from our uh, video on astronomical units, okay? Um, you're going to need a pencil, uh, you're going to need a straight edge, and you're going to need a calculator. So if you need to run and get those things, just pause the video, all right? And then we'll see you when you get back. Okay, so here is our example. Okay, so copy this example down into your notes. You do not want to have to you know, go back to the videos and try to find um, the, the examples in the videos, all right? Um, you wanna be able to have them in your notes for easy retrieval, all right? So our example is going to be, how long would it take humans to travel to Mars. All right, so we are going to use our guess method for problem solving that we always use when we're solving problems in this class. All right, so G-U-E-S-S. -S. So here we go with the givens. Okay, so what can we write down as our givens? If you look at your notes from the previous video on astronomical units, um, and this is also on the equation sheet for astro um, for this class, we do know that our, the fastest man speed, okay, um, that we are using for these problems is 11,000, and 80 meters per second, okay? So we are going to assume that we're gonna be traveling at the fastest man speed um, for our whole trip, okay? All right, all right. Um, we do not know, you know, uh, you might actually, but um, we have to show how we know our distance from Earth to Mars, okay? And so to do that, what we are going to do, okay, and this is something that you'll have to remember, um, is you are going to subtract the orbital distances. To find Okay, or the distance um, from Earth to the planet that we're trying to get to. Okay. All right, so for our diagram, okay, we have, all right, the sun, all right, and We know that the Earth is, if you look at your notes from astronomical units, the Earth is one AU from the sun, right? So we know that, okay? We know this distance here is one AU. Okay, and then we know that Mars is 1.5 AU from the sun. So when we label that, Let's 
from Mars is 1.5, 1, 1.5, 1, 1. AU from the sun, okay? So if we want to calculate how long it would take humans to travel to Mars, okay, we can use the speed that we would be traveling at, all right, and then we can subtract the orbital distances uh, from Earth, okay, and the planet that we're trying to get to. And so that, when we subtract those two, that is going to give us the distance. Okay, from Earth to Mars. Okay, so this will give us our S. Okay, right there. Okay. All right. So our unknown okay, our unknown is the time because we want to know how long it would take us to get there, all right? Okay, so when we look at our equation, right, our equation, okay, is right off of your equation sheet, and we also wrote this in our notes last time, so we're gonna use our average speed equation, V AVG is equal to distance over time. And when we rearrange that, the time is equal to the distance divided by the average speed, okay? So like we said, our distance, we're going to have to subtract, okay, over here. So our distance, Right, is going to be for this problem 1.5 AU minus 1 AU. So my distance is 0 0.5 AU. Okay. Now for my equation, I'm going to have my average speed is going to be in meters per second, and I need to have my distance in meters also. Okay, in order to plug that into the equation. I cannot plug 0.5 AU into my equation there because then the units will not work out, okay? So I have to do some factor label method and convert my 0.5 AU into meters, okay? So I'm gonna take 0.5 AU and I'm gonna use, okay, what's on in our notes and on our equation sheet. Uh, 1 AU is 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters, okay? So if I have 0 0.5 AU, all right, I want AUs to cancel, so I'm going to put 1 AU in the denominator, and then in the numerator, I'm going to put 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. So my AUs will cancel, and this will tell me how many meters I have, okay? All right, so this comes out to, so put that in your calculator, okay? And you should get 7.5 times 10 to the 10th meters, okay? So that is the distance, okay? So that's what we're gonna plug in to our equation, all right? So when I go to substitute, solve, okay? I'm gonna use my equation here, time, okay? And I'm gonna plug in my distance, which is 7.5 times 10 to the 10th meters, that's our distance from Earth to Mars, divided by the speed that we would hope to be traveling, very hopeful, 11,080 meters per second, all right? And then we go ahead and plug that into our calculator and you will get all right, 6,769,000 seconds, okay? Now, that is not very practical, all right, dealing with seconds, okay, in 
uh, you know, if, if, I, if, if you ask me how long it takes to get to Mars, and I say, oh, 6,769,000 seconds, that's not very helpful, right? So we're going to factor label this. We could factor label it into days. We could factor, factor label it into months. We could factor label it into years. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor label this into years. Okay. So if I take uh, 6,769,000 seconds, and I'm going to multiply that times one hour over 3,600 seconds, okay, times, okay, so that gets rid of our seconds. We just went from seconds to hours because there's 3,600 seconds in an hour. And then we're going to go from hours to days, and there are 24 hours in one day. Okay, so then hours cancel. And then we're gonna go from days to months. Okay, so we are, actually we'll just go from days to years. So we'll have 365 days are in one year. Okay, so then days cancel. So when you multiply across, so you have 6,769,000 times one, times one, times one, divided by 3,600, divided by 24, divided by 365. Okay, this is gonna leave us with units of years. And we get 0 0.21 years. Okay, if, if I were to uh, factor label this into months, I would get 2.57 months. If I were to factor label it into days, I would get 78 days, okay? Uh, but I'm gonna give you another fact all right, that will be on your equation sheet. Um, you do not need to memorize this. It's just so that when you do these calculations, you do not have to go through this long factor label method process every time. So on your equation sheet, we're gonna give you one year, all right, is 3536 times 10 to the seventh seconds. Okay, so this is gonna be on your equation sheet. And that way, so that you do not have to do three separate factor label steps, you can just do one factor label step to go from seconds to years. All right, that's example one.